Here's what our bulb looks like. It's uh, of course 100 watts, but it only has the half wave going into it. So instead of it being a normal 100 watts, you're getting about 50 watts out of it. Minus what we have going into the battery. So we have actually a bit less than 50 watts. And the voltage drop across here is going to be your 12. Actually, let's measure how much it is. Okay, our voltage drop is uh, 13. So 120 minus 13. Or no, 120 divided by 2 minus 13. So these, uh, 60, 60 minus 13 is 47. So we've got about 47 bolts across the light bulb. Now you have to disconnect your battery completely. If you do not disconnect the battery completely, you'll be now, say you only unhook, unhook one side, you leave the ground on. And then your entire car is going to be live to ground. And it will shock you. So make sure you disconnect it completely. Or even take it all the way out if you like. I will post a link to a website where I will have the uh, drawing on how to do this. What I've done is I've took the cord, I've cut the cord, put a diode in it. Now the diode I'm using is rated for a thousand volts one amp. So to get a higher amperage, of course, you'd parallel the, the diodes. If you need a higher voltage, which a thousand is more than enough, but if you need higher, just uh, put your diodes in series. You come up, you cut your cord. I've got a split right here. One end is going to the positive. The other side is coming uh, through the light and back and going to the negative. Now to figure out which side you've got negative and positive, of course put your meter on the wires before you hook them to the battery. That'll tell you whether you've got your wires, which one's positive and which one's negative. And on this cord, we just plug our light in, and uh, there's our light. Now if you want higher current going in, which you really don't need a higher current, this is like a, a four tenths of an amp, half amp. If you need a higher current, so you've got a larger battery, uh, you can plug in multiple lights. I've got, with this cord, I can plug in two more. You can actually plug in another cord and add more if you need to, but the only reason I can think of you would need to is if you had a really large battery, uh, other than what's used in cars, like sawmill batteries.